Hello everyone. Back again with film recaps. In this video, I'm going to recap one of a mystery thriller films from 2021, titled False Positive. Before we get to the storyline, I'd like to wish everyone a happy and great day. Without further ado, let's get straight to the storyline. The film opens with a woman covered in blood, walking down the street, while police sirens go off in the background. The movie then takes us to the past, to our main characters, Lucy and Adrian, a married couple who desperately want to get pregnant. Unfortunately, they only face another disappointment when they find another negative on the test pack, despite continuously trying for two years. Adrian, the husband, decides to contact Dr. Hindle, a friend of his who is one of the top five fertility specialists. Adrian and Lucy then go to visit Dr. Hindle's women's center, and are greeted by Dawn, the receptionist. They proceed to run a preliminary assessment on Lucy with the utmost care, making her feel excited, before taking her to see Dr. Hindle himself. When Dr. Hindle performs a checkup, Lucy is surprised that he doesn't seem too phased by her situation. During this encounter, we also learn that Hindle knows Adrian because Adrian who now works as a surgeon, used to be one of Hindle's most talented students in med school. Before the end of the session, Hindle announces that he has created his own method of fertilization that is said to be fail-proof. Hearing this gives the couple a spark of hope. The next day at work, Lucy's boss, Greg, tells her that she's being given an opportunity to become the marketing team leader, something that she's been wanting for a long time. The news excites her as it seems that things in her life are just getting better and better. During the day of the insemination, Adrian is given a cup for a seed, which will be used to inject into Lucy. Dr. Hindle goes ahead with the procedure, and everything goes over without a hitch. A few weeks later, while she's at work, Lucy suddenly feels a morning sickness, so she goes to Dr. Hindle's clinic, and gets informed that she is indeed pregnant. The couple is ecstatic, in fact, they are so ecstatic that they start planning baby names that evening. If they have a daughter, Lucy wants its name to be Wendy, while if it's a son, Adrian wants to name it Adrian Jr. The next time she goes to work, Lucy finally lets Greg and the rest of the co-workers know about her pregnancy. Greg alongside her other co-workers, congratulate her, and Greg begins objectifying her by saying they should use her pregnancy as a pity card, so that future clients would be more inclined to work with them. On the next scene, Dr. Hindle uses an ultrasound to let the couple see their baby. Surprisingly, they find out that Lucy's having twin boys, something they're happy about. However, when Hindle shows her that she also has a female singlet, Lucy starts having a panic attack. To make things worse, after getting her breathing back to normal, Dr. Hindle informs Lucy that she might have birth complications if she tries to keep all three. So, John suggests that Lucy gets rid of the girl because the twin boys are much healthier, while the girl seems small. Not wanting to impose any further, everybody walks out to give Lucy some time to decide. That evening, Lucy and Adrian go out for dinner to celebrate the successful pregnancy. Adrian suggests that they should keep the two boys, but Lucy objects because taking care of two babies at the same time is a lot of work. Not thinking this should be a big deal, Adrian suggests Lucy should just quit her job, but she gets offended because she puts a lot of effort into building her career, so she wants to keep the girl instead. When Lucy is asleep later night, Adrian is seen on his laptop, seemingly up to something. In the morning however, Adrian apologizes to Lucy and says it's okay if they keep the girl instead, and sometime that day, Adrian suggests that Lucy should join a pregnant mom's group, so she does. She meets up with a group of expecting mothers, some of which have had the same complications as her. When Lucy introduces herself and mentions Dr. Hindle, all the other mommies seem impressed because the clinic is super popular, and the waiting list goes on for years. The women are even more impressed when they learned Lucy never had to get in the waiting list, because Adrian was Dr. Hindle's student in med school. When Lucy waits for Dr. Hindle to prep the abortion, she nervously stares at a magazine which cover features a midwife named Grace Singleton. As Dr. Hindle performs the abortion, she looks deeply conflicted, and all of a sudden, the scene turns red. Lucy sleeps into unconsciousness during the procedure, but she hears bits of Dr. Hindle and Adrian's weird conversation, wherein Adrian seems to want to make sure Lucy is knocked out cold, and seemingly hiding something from her. When she dozes off further, Lucy dreams about how in the future, she would accompany her daughter Wendy in the park, but when she walks up to her, the child's face turns demonic. Sometime after procedure, Lucy wakes up, and Dr. Hindle assures her that everything is going to be fine. On their way home, 
Lucy brings up about how she heard Adrian and Hindel discuss something weird during the procedure, but Adrian assures her she must just be dreaming. Later that night at home, Lucy suddenly finds herself bleeding a lot, prompting the couple to panic and rush to the clinic. At the clinic, Dr. Hindel assures them everything's fine and to not rely on Google. Over time, Lucy seems to become more fascinated with Grace Singleton, the midwife on the magazine cover. She even goes as far as taking the magazine home with her. Time passes, Lucy is now entering the third trimester pregnancy, and it is now time to deliver the pitch meeting that may land Lucy the big break of her career. After the meeting, her co-workers are satisfied with her performance, apparently she aced it. They then attend an award event for Dr. Hindle, in which Adrian delivers a speech to honor the man. Up next, Dr. Hindle gives his acceptance speech, but the speech is low-key weird, because he mentions about how he love his job because he will always be a part of a child's birth. When they get home, Adrian opens a safe in his office to take out a box, then presents it as a gift to Lucy. Inside a box is a bracelet that has to be screwed on. One night, Lucy lies awake in bed, watching videos of Grace Singleton, the midwife, before she feels strong kicks in her belly, and finds it moving. She suddenly hears a noise from outside the bedroom, and decides to get out of bed to check it out. The wife ends up in Adrian's office, staring at a blood dripping out of Adrian's desk drawer. She finds a safe inside and is about to open it, until Adrian shows up and gets her back to bed. On the next scene, Lucy sees one of her friends from her mommy group, Corgan, and tries telling about her paranoia and how she's been seeing things. Lucy is convinced Dr. Hindle has done something to the fetus without her consent, and her husband Adrian is in on it. Now she distrusts the doctor and wants a midwife to deliver her baby instead, but Corgan waves it off, saying it's because of her mommy brain. Not wanting an argument, Lucy stays diplomatic and relents for now but is secretly still intrigued by the midwife. She spends the night watching a video on the midwife's website. Lucy thinks she has a very different approach to pregnancy compared to John, an approach that she feels much more comfortable in. While watching the video she even hallucinates about being in the same room as the midwife because she's so intrigued by it. On the next day, she's watching another one of the midwife's videos at work when Dawn, one of Dr. Hindle's nurses, shows up and demands Lucy to return the magazine she stole from the clinic, because Dr. Hindle wants it back. Lucy reasons that she's just borrowing it, so Dawn leaves her be for now. During Lucy's next checkup with Dr. Hindle, the doctor feels around her stomach but doesn't use ultrasound, which makes Lucy a bit confused. Nonetheless, she waves it off and just gives back the magazine to the doctor, apologizing for taking it home. Dr. Hindle assures her it's fine, and tells her to forgive Dawn as Dawn was simply being a loyal nurse to the facility, which sounds unnecessarily intense and Seuss. One day at work, Lucy gets summoned to Greg's office. Here misfortune comes to Lucy's life, as Greg tells her that he's worried she's going to screw up because she is heavily pregnant, so he's demoting her off her current leadership. Lucy is infuriated by this, so she decides to walk out and head straight for Adrian's office, bringing him lunch and hoping she could spend some time with him. However, Adrian only looks at her confusedly, because apparently, she just brought him lunch earlier. Lucy is now worried she's suffering from memory loss, so the couple head to the clinic, and Dr. Hindle explains that Lucy might be suffering from preparatum depression, so he prescribes her some Xanax before sending her home. Overtaken by her fascination, Lucy finally decides to meet the midwife in person. Here she gets to open up about how her mother died, and she's hoping to get another female figure in her life through having a daughter. The midwife indulges her with calming and affirming answers. On the next scene, Adrian is seen meeting up with Dawn at a hotel lobby and kissing her. During their brief interaction, she informs him that his room is ready, and he proceeds to the room and enters it. Unbeknownst to Adrian, Lucy is secretly watching him from inside a closet. All of the sudden, Dr. Hindle enters our view in secret, and it turns out that Adrian is having an affair with John behind her back. As it turns out, it is nothing but a bad dream. That same night, she goes downstairs to check Adrian's desk and tries to open the safe. In it she finds a file detailing her pregnancy from the clinic, obvious that she's being monitored. Even her visit to the midwife, Grace Singleton, is written about, and there are pictures of that visit. She takes the files with her and goes to see Corgan, to show her findings. Corgan voices that this is insane and asks for permission to show all these to her husband who is a lawyer, much to Lucy's appreciation. Before they part, she tells Lucy that in the meantime, Lucy simply has to act like everything is normal. In the morning, Lucy looks a bit more cheerful, 
even announcing that she's quitting her job and she doesn't want to see Dr. Hindle anymore. Instead, she wants to see Grace Singleton the midwife. Adrian objects, claiming Hindle is a friend and he doesn't know what to tell Hindle, but Lucy has made up her mind and won't take no for an answer, so Adrian listens. Understandably, he later tells Lucy that Hindle is mad and disappointed by this decision. During Lucy's baby shower at Corgan's house, Corgan gifts her with a first edition of Peter Pan, the book that Lucy's late mother used to read to her. Corgan then calls her Lucia, and surprises Lucy, wondering how she knew of her birth name. Corgan is evidently confused, so Lucy swiftly leaves the room before things get more awkward. When Lucy is in the bathroom, she notices a bottle of pills prescribed by Dr. Hindle there. At the same time, Corgan goes up to her to check on her, and Lucy confronts Corgan about the pills, feeling betrayed that she would go to John after everything she's told her about him. This is when Corgan admits that she talked to Adrian about Lucy's condition, and he got her an appointment with John after hearing about her own complications. As it turns out, Corgan didn't ask her husband about the papers that Lucy showed her, but instead gave it back to Adrian, who clarified that he didn't have a safe on his desk. She also states that she's deeply worried about Lucy, and after the argument, Lucy begins hyperventilating, and then groaning in pain, she is now in labor. Adrian rushes her to the midwife, and the midwife helps her deliver a baby, which turns out to be a boy. Lucy then starts crowning again, meaning a second baby is coming out, but there's a lot of blood, meaning there are complications to the birth, so the midwife tells them to rush to the ER right now. To no one's surprise, Adrian takes her to Dr. Hindle and he successfully helps her deliver the second baby. They then get rid of the girl fetus, and we can see Lucy becomes a bit unhinged as Adrian and Dr. Hindle conspired against her wishes, by sacrificing the baby girl instead of the twin boys. However, when they get home, Adrian manipulatively tries convincing her to simply accept this, and they can simply work with what they have now. Not knowing who else to go to, Lucy decides to see the midwife again and cries in her arms. She suddenly realizes that the office looks different, including the midwife's outfit. But the midwife claims she never changed a thing, meaning Lucy was hallucinating how it looked the whole time. Lucy proceeds to ask the midwife what she should do about the situation now, and the midwife tells her to simply be better from this point on, which is definitely vague and not helping. Determined to get answers, Lucy returns to the women's center, and demands to see Hindle. Dawn refuses to entertain her without an appointment, but when Lucy starts talking about what happened during her labor, Dawn stops her before she could say anything more in a lobby filled with their patients. Dawn the nurse leads her to a room, and tells her to simply let it go, because she has two healthy babies and a more successful husband now. Apparently, Adrian plans to work alongside John, something that Lucy has no knowledge about. Lucy is rendered speechless by this, and after Dawn leaves, she sneaks her way inside the clinic's lab, wherein she finds a discarded fetus that's presumably her unborn daughter. Hindle walks in, and for some reason, he reveals that the seed used to get her pregnant was not Adrian's, but in fact his, because he feels like he has the best genes, and the world will be a better place if his DNA is spread. Therefore, he chose the twin boys because they have more chances of spreading the Hindle genes once they grow up. As he speaks, he takes a sedative and walks closer, attempting to sedate Lucy. At this point, Lucy starts to get even angrier as she learns the truth, and she loses it. She reaches for a mirror and smashes it against Hindle's face. She then restrains him on the medical chair, right when Dawn walks in and they scuffle on the floor. Lucy jams a medical nozzle thingy down her throat but she pulls it out like a pro, before she proceeds to attack Lucy again. Luckily, Lucy manages to knock her out. She beats Dr. Hindle repeatedly, before knocking down a fridge full of his semen. Lucy then leaves the laboratory with Wendy's fetus, and walks out of the clinic looking all bloody. She walks her way home right after and takes her baby boys in her arms, before tossing them out the window. However, being the delusional woman she is, instead of falling, she sees the babies float like Peter Pan's lost boys. Later on, Adrian comes home and finds Lucy still covered in blood and standing next to the cradle. She hands him the two baby boys, signifying that the previous scene was simply a figment of her imagination. Lucy then kicks Adrian out of her house, and once she is alone, she sits down and tries to get her unborn daughter's fetus to lactate. Here she begins to hallucinate again, imagining the fetus is suckling. And this is where the movie ends. Okay guys. That's all the recap of False Positive 2021. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video.